Well, Pfizer's pneumonia vaccine, Prevnar, may be effective in adults over 50. This is according to two studies out today. Prevnar already sold for young children. Adding older adults could help the vaccine generate more than $5 billion in 2015. Bloomberg's Shannon Pettypiece is here with more. And Shannon, how did they discover this? Uh, well, this is actually a vaccine that they acquired from Wyeth. Um, and right now, it's just for, as you said, the youngest children for preventing pneumonia in them. But what they want to do is expand it to these older adults. Adults. Pneumonia is a big problem in the very young, very old, and the chronically ill. And what this study found that they released today is, and this is from two studies, that it is effective in these adults over age 50. So very good news for this vaccine, hopefully. Um, and they got this, as you mentioned, this vaccine from the Wyeth acquisition, right? Mm -hmm. So does that make that this acquisition look even more smart for Pfizer? I think we're getting more and more clarity on why Pfizer really needed to do this deal and, and why this may have been the right deal for them. This is on track to be Pfizer's top selling product by 2013. It'll have over five billion in sales, as you said. And if you look at what the estimates are for Pfizer for 2013, two of their top selling products, this one and a product called Enbrel for rheumatoid arthritis, are both from the Wyeth acquisition. So going forward, Pfizer's lineup of products is really being driven by these medicines from Wyeth. And, and I think it kind of paints this picture of why Pfizer really needed to do this deal. Uh, getting approval, though, for older patients, we're, they're waiting for approval, right? Right. They filed an, applica uh, filed an application in December with the FDA. It could take uh, six to nine months. So we could see something later this year uh, from the FDA. Either we're going to need more data or there's enough data, let's clear it, and that will open the window for Pfizer to start marketing this to these older patients. And getting approval it not only is going to add, what, $5 billion more, as you say, but it's important for the older, for the patients as well. Well, it's important for patients. And what the the estimates are that by 2015, that with the young adults and the older children and the, uh, sorry, the younger children and the older adults, it will have a total of over $5 billion in sales with both those okay. groups. But for patients, this is important because for those between 50 and 65 right now, there is no approved pneumonia vaccine. So if you're at risk, there is really nothing for you. For people over 65, the only vaccine was approved 30 years ago. It's an older vaccine and it loses its effectiveness over time. Mm. So there's really nothing good out there for the older adults. And 50,000 people in the U.S. die each year from pneumonia. This is still a big, uh, very significant health threat. I think a lot of people think of pneumonia as, as something, you know, that killed people 100 years ago. But right. it is still very deadly now now, leading cause of death for a lot of people. So, um, yeah, it will be very significant for patients as well. Shannon, thank you.